This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, May 22nd, through this coming Sunday, May 28th, 2017. So this week we've got the new moon in Gemini, which is on Thursday, May 25th. And new moons are cosmic doorways to fresh starts, allowing us to shed old skin and old thought patterns and giving us the basis for new experiences, new opportunities, new chapters. So go ahead and plan. You're being given new concepts with a six-month goal term. Well, a little over six months till the Gemini full moon, which is going to be on December 3rd of this year. So, this week's Gemini new moon brings us the gift of new ideas and fresh information and productive communication. It's like a mental reset to a higher frequency, allowing us to access and process the innovative epiphanies that we've been seeking. So just take a deep breath and open your mind. Open your mind to the new possibilities. Open your mind to the answers that you've been seeking. And um, don't, let these <laughs> don't let these innovative ideas skip past you. Take some notes. Journal. Use that voice recorder on your phone to document your aha moments so you can access them and engage them for your highest potential. And to give you um, the aspects, there's only one aspect between the sun and moon conjunction. And that's the asteroid Lilith. So this new moon comes with the caveat as she's opposed by Lilith. Pay attention to the things that you need to process. Those deep issues you'd rather ignore, but they're down at the root foundation, wrecking havoc on your dreams. Acknowledge any resentment, betrayal, anger, you know, frustration, exasperation that you're carrying. Lilith demands that these emotions be recognized and given their due and the makeup of our beings and the paths of our journey. What are these deeply rooted core beliefs trying to expose to you? And how do you scrape off their sticky residue for once and for all? Don't avoid the work of your lessons and growth and embrace all the eager, innovative, fresh ideas and opportunity that this new moon is going to open up for you. It's all good, but Lilith wants to be recognized as well. All right, which cards did we get? I love it. Angel Tarot, Dorian Virtue, Red Lay Valentine. And let's see what we've gotten for this week. I'm going to lay these out, and then I'm going to go over each one to give you a complete reading for the energy of this week. And how you, <laughs> there it is, there it is, I love it. How you can use this energy to your best advantage. All right. You've got creation all going down there. All right, we're going to start with the seven of air. Ah, seven is introspection. Air is thoughts and knowledge and all that wisdom. So this is going within to recognize your wisdom. And this says, plans that need revision, more going on that meets the eye, poor timing. This card also to me is about protecting what's yours. Protecting your ideas, protecting your goals, not sharing too much of those ideas until you're really sure about how you want them to unfold. It's also about, you know, holding close to you what's yours and paying attention to what you're leaving behind. This is kind of a <laughs> deep, multi-layered message here. But, you know, they're showing me scraping off all that gunk 
that I was talking about, the resentment and the betrayal, within that is a valuable message. So yes, you want to leave it behind, but pay attention and acknowledge the, what it's given you. All problems or opportunities, all things that scare you and upset you, they're abs actually absolutely opportunities. So allowing that balance and that duality to serve you, to help you go within for the wisdom for things to flow the way that you want them to. What are those goals? Starting out very much in this new moon Lilith opposition here to give you a little more clarity on that. And then the nine of fire <laughs> is, is pulling off this as well. It's, it's this energy. Protect that which you've created. Don't give up. Have courage and believe in yourself. So it's directly pulling on the message they were showing me for the seven of air about protecting your ideas, protecting your goals, but keep moving forward with them. This nine says you've got the knowledge, you've got the wisdom, it's culmination. Your experiences have given you what you need to move forward and take action. Fire is taking action. So yes, don't give up and have courage and believe in yourself and protect and act upon what you're creating. You've got a six-month timeline here for all those great aha moments you're going to be given this week. And since the new moon is on Thursday, this energy is following through all week to next Monday. And so you've got a lot of time here to do all this processing. And then these three cards are all creation cards. And I kind of think I'm going to do what I did last week and read those together with themselves. So energy at the end of the week. Here again, hmm, I love this card, the Four of Fire. This to me is the celebration card. I go out and, and you know, have an evening out, celebrate, congratulate yourself on work well done and then tomorrow you get up and you go back to work it's not a this is not a um outcome card this is a keep going card and reminding you you've got commit contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project these two cards here are reminding you of the project that you want to create this new moon energy of what it is that you're pulling forth for these next six months this um, cosmic doorway to your fresh start that's absolutely new moon energy it's shedding what you no longer need and the four of fire says recognize that you've got contentment peace and abundance already it's already in place. So you can move forward from that foundation of goodness. Four is doing the work. Fire is taking action. Very nice settle there. Foundational settlement. Unity, Archangel Sandalphon. This is the Hierophant in the regular tarot deck. So this is your spiritual connection. This is... Oh, such a deep message this week. All the layers. <laughs> Let me try and... They're going back to these two cards. Do the work. Do the work that Lilith is putting in front of you. Pay attention. It could be ancient gunk that you've been carrying ancestral long down the line stuff that's got a bit of resentment and betrayal and frustration just so deep down in the foundation that you need to scrape that up and let it go. Just flick it off and say, I'm not carrying this anymore. And Archangel Sandalphon and your spiritual unity is going to help you do this. That breathing into your heart and just sitting for a quiet moment and setting the intention that you no longer want to carry 
this old sticky goo with you. You're ready to let those things go. Anything that's created a core belief in you, and most of those core beliefs come from your early childhood, before you were 8 years old, 10 years old, the things that were impressed upon your psyche as law, and those things that are subconsciously, you know, you're carrying that around with you, and it's affecting everything you're doing. So if someone told you you weren't worthy or pretty or smart, you're believing that on some level. And that's just, <laughs> that's garbage. That's not a part of you. That is not you. That person that said that thing to you, that's their issue. That was their feelings of inadequacy that they projected onto you. So... You know, I know it's hard work, but go back and dig that stuff out. And if you can't, you know, find it or you don't want to do it by yourself, I absolutely, that's what I'm here for. I will help you do that with a reading. So go ahead and embrace your spiritual connection. You've got Archangel Sandalphon and really all the Archangels to help you with this if you feel you want to call in more than your own spirit guides and angels. And this is also finding your group, a spiritual group, a spiritual connection um, to do that with. And watching this video, <laughs> that's part of that. Very important. I am here for you. Now, these I feel like we've had every week. We had um, justice for a long time. <laughs> now we're having new beginnings, new emotional beginnings. Um, that's the ace, the beginning of love, falling in love, new chapters in your relationships, new beginnings in your relationships, using this week to let go of any resentment and all to get your heart clear, your heart open, your heart ready for your authentic placement in love. And this is doing what you love as well as, you know, being in love. I love the spiritual growth and enhanced intuition. Very important. Again, the marker card for a new home. If you want to move, now is the time to be putting that in order and getting ready. Yeah. New emotional beginnings. That is a very important theme for us this month this whole month because it keeps coming up. Now we've got the three of water, emotional expansion. And I know it's the season, but get out and go to those weddings <laughs> and those graduation parties. Anything you're invited to say yes, because that's emotional expansion and it's meeting new people and it's also connecting with people who are your friends and your family and loved ones. And it's, very important, the need to have more fun could not be more crucial for all of us right now. So enjoy the sunshine, go out and have fun and laugh. I can't emphasize laughing enough. Now, all this creation, I love it. So in these six cards, you were doing the work, the emotional work, the spiritual connection work, the connecting emotionally with your friends, this emotional work of understanding what you're protecting and what you're creating and the making your plans. And now the Empress says, absolutely. What are those amazing, great ideas you're having? She wants to help you. Archangel Gabrielle wants to help you to create your lavish abundance, to give birth to your dreams, to nurture yourself, Notice yourself is first, <laughs> and then you nurture others. You've got to take care of yourself first. She's holding the baby of her dreams. What is it that you want to give birth to? What is it that you've been growing? This is Empress energy. This is important. New moon creation. You, you're being given the ideas. You're being given the wisdom and the intellect and the education and 
all the things that you need mentally to logically get this stuff out in the world. Get it to where you're seeing your creations come to life. And the king, he's the outcomes. He's creative outcomes. You are motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. And the guys, <laughs> they want me to say, the king of fire is motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic to push you along on all this goodness. So focus, 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 and communicate with vision and be a leader and seek people that are creative to give you advice. You're not on an island. You're not isolated. So offer help and accept help and ask for help in all the ways that you need it. Because there's a team out there to help you get things done who will also bring in all these attributes to help you act upon your ideas and act upon all that creativity that the Empress is giving you. So they're saying the outcomes are there. And the Queen, she's the solutions. <sighs> Confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful solutions. Stretch your wings and fly. She has these beautiful angel wings. And see her sword? Let me see this. It's like fire. <laughs> she's, there's a big cauldron down here, and she's just igniting it with fire and all this sparkle. And this is like a baby dragon. This, to me, represents the creativity and your dreams taking flight. And she's open, and she's nurturing, and she's wise, and she's connected. And she says, don't underestimate yourself. Be independent. Be creative. Act upon your amazing ideas, because they're the solutions that you seek for the lavish abundance. <laughs> and in between is the king who says the outcomes are already there. It's all good. So allow all this inner work to get you clear and open by Thursday, the new moon. Then you launch into this creative, fantastic, lavish abundance, wonderfulness. It's all good. It's all safe. I am here for you. If you would like a reading, we will specifically address what's going on in your life. What's on your blueprint? What are your pre-life agreements? Who's involved in all of that? What's unfolding for you? What's some of that gunk that you're ready to scrape off and get rid of if you can't recognize it or if you're afraid of it? You know, I hold the energy and take care of all of that for you. A reading is incredibly valuable to help you move ahead and get clear on where you want to be. All the information for readings is on my website, spiritpathways.net, and I can't wait to hear from you and help you. Have a wonderful new moon, have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.